drivers. A million drivers are on the roads every single day. Whether they're going to work, transporting their children to school, going on recreational drives, or simply just getting out of the house. The roads and highways are a very busy, very dangerous place. And we spend quite a bit of time on them. Most of our lines are built along the roads for accessibility and maintenance purposes. So we spend quite a bit of time on the roads maintaining our lines. And this puts us in a dangerous position. Even though we use all of our traffic control devices and we use our PPE and our signs, we still are in harm's way. What I've done is I've gathered a few videos here today to share with you where regardless of all the PPE and all the safety devices, accidents still happen. We move on now to this terrifying scene that was caught on camera. A utility worker holding on for dear life after his bucket lift was hit by a truck happened last week along Highway 90 at Pitts Road in Pecan Grove. Our Sophia Beausoleil joining us now live with the story. Sophia? Bill, that utility worker was working on this light right above me that you see right here at Pitts Road and US 90A when that crash happened. Take a look at this video. Dash camera video captured the moment a box truck driving on Highway 90 and Pitts Road drove underneath the traffic light. The top of the truck clipped the bucket and the maintenance worker was flipped. Now, the maintenance worker was fortunately okay, but it was Andrew Wolf's dash camera video that captured the entire thing. He was driving in the right lane. Wolf, who is a videographer, says they were going at least 50 miles per hour when the box truck hit the bucket that the utility worker was in. He says the driver of the bucket, or rather the driver of the truck, did stop and was apologetic. Wolf says he was worried for that utility worker. Here was the senior 39th in Sorensen Parkway, again happening just after 2.30 this morning. Police tell us an SUV slammed into an OPPD truck that was parked on the street doing some maintenance work. An OPPD worker was 35 feet in the air in a bucket and fell from the force of the crash. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition. The driver of the SUV also taken to the hospital with critical injuries. This crash remains under investigation. Breaking news this midday, one person injured following a two-vehicle crash on the south side of Columbus. This is a live look at the scene. It seems that an SUV T-boned an AEP truck. Kind of a bizarre accident. One person we're told is at Grand Medical Center in critical condition. Witnesses told police a car with flashing lights was chasing down that SUV when it crashed. Police say that victim is the driver of the SUV who threw a gun out the window before the accident happened. Muller Avenue is closed between City Park and High Street while police investigate. We will, of course, keep you updated with new information as we get it. The only way to reduce the risk of injury or fatality is to make sure we use all our PPE. We have to use all of the devices at our disposal, our cones, our signs, our lights, our flaggers, everything. We have to do it right the first time. There is no gray area. There are no ifs, ands, or buts. The only way to go home is to make sure we work safely. Work safely to keep us safe and the public safe. That's all the time I have for this week. If there's anything you think I missed or anything you want to hear, anything you want to see, drop me an email, nddownthelon at gmail.com. If you liked what you saw, like and share. Please subscribe to my channel, and everybody out there, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll see you down the line.